Dear students, today we will discuss uh, chapter number 7 which is related to explaining visually to influence with the data. So we will see that how we can uh, explain visually to influence with the data with respect to the picture, with respect to the different terminologies like uh, ethos, pathos and lagos and uh, uh, with the pyramid structure. So the objective of this uh, chapter is to explain the importance of the audience and need that what audience are basically needing and how can we give them analytical comfort level uh, so that um, effective data visualization can be done and moreover this chapter will discuss about the empathy in audience that how can we invoke or provoke the empathies in the audience uh, to create the most effective message possible in the data visualization and presentation so uh, so we will see that how we can have some different uh, uh, these are like 11 uh, learning objectives for this chapter and we will see that how we can um, do that uh, 11 different learning objective to be achieved for this chapter um, so uh, here are two examples and we can see there that uh, on the left hand side uh, there is a cluster column chart on the right hand side is a slope column slope chart so we can easily predict from that one that slope chart has a less um, like you know memory load on us or comfort level is higher and we can easily see see that that which uh, area like ohio illinois or florida or north carolina or missouri where is the change right so we can see the the difference in the change in the slope easily with respect to the cluster column change, cluster column chart. So in this chapter, basically we need to know that how we can have like you know how can we make the story from the uh, from charts. So storytelling refers to the ability to build a narrative like you know, from the data that is meaningful and memorable, and how can we influence the audience. Okay. So the first goal is to be effective storytelling is to ensure that. Uh, we understand our audience and determining the two most important things. The first and most important thing is a high level of understanding and detailed level of understanding. And the second most important thing is a low analytical comfort and high analytical comfort. So we will see that how it can be influenced with the diagram. So here, here is an example of a, a chain life insurance group investment in a new process technology. And we will correlate this example with these two different uh, factors. So here you can see need for the high level understanding. So here is a high level understanding, but not the detailed one. Uh, while in this diagram, we can see that there is a more detailed level of understanding, right? While the second factor, if you, if you look over here, uh, here is a low analytical comfort level, means the analysis is low here while here is more analytical comfort level why because in the walk box fixture chart we have five different values like the lower value upper value mean value uh, and uh, and and there is also uh, ir 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 q values right so five different informations uh, we we achieved from this one so that is called that's why we call it as a high analytical comfort level now we see over here comparing this one um, with respect with respect to the uh, insight uh, and uh, with the high insight and low insight um, high level insight needed or uh, detailed insight and with respect to the low comfort uh, analytical comfort and high comfort analytical comfort we can see that uh, some charts are like you know related to uh, high level for example this chart is related to uh, like you know these these are the charts so let me just like you know yeah so these are the charts which are related to the detail insight and low analytical comfort but if you want to have a detail insight needed and high analytical comfort then violin chart is the best one but in case if you have like you know high level insight chart and high analytical comfort then uh, senki chart or bubble chart or tree charts tree maps are the best one and similarly for a high level insight and for low analytical comfort we have normal charts like pie chart and line chart so these are the basic charts so what help the decision makers so uh, decision makers like you know they need some some uh, high analytical uh, one and in and more insight they needed from the graphs 
The second most important thing is empath empathizing with the data. So empathizing means like uh, refers to the ability to understand and share the feelings of other. Uh, and then by empathizing with the data, we can create data visualization which impacts our decision in, uh, ineffectively. So we have two common kind of common challenges for creating empathy. The first is called like audience can lose the ability to associate the meaning with the considering large numerical values. Second most important thing is it can be challenging to consider individual cases when looking at aggregate statistics. So these are the challenges we have it. So uh, strategies for large numbers. So when we have a large number, it's better to instead of writing the large number, it's better to write in the million and billion so it becomes more easier to understand. And uh, simple like empathizing with the line chart. So how can we empathize with the line chart? We associate some values. For example, near the end of line chart, you can see the effect of COVID-19 pandemic on unemployment in the United States. Right. Uh, moreover, uh, if you want to empathize with the data, so a dot matrix chart is a new chart. You can also uh, it's also available uh, in a, in Excel, and uh, it can be created as well. And moreover, the, the shaded area is considered to be the total labor force in the state of Ohio, while the non-shaded area is considered to be the, um, the vice versa. Now see here, to add empathy we here, so usually it's better idea to add picture with the number. So it will like, you know, it will uh, highlight the visualization and it will like, you know, give more strength to the visualization. Okay, now empathizing with the data if you have clustering algorithms so how can we represent the clustering algorithms so here you say that like for example in the, in the clustering algorithms so you can uh, associate some story with that one like sophia is a young single female who lives in the downtown apartment sophia is well educated follows the new closely is likely to be pol politically active and does not regularly attend the sports event right so in the market segmentation analysis Clustering algorithms divide the company customer into different groups, right? As we already know about that one. So to create the best um, possible story, Third State Bank identified the cluster seven of its customer segmentation analysis with the Sophia. Now choosing the correct chart to tell your story. So it is very, very important that to choose a correct chart with respect to uh, data and with respect to the story. So if the correct chart is not chosen, the story will not be built properly like this one we already discussed in the in the makeover study about the slope chart and we will see that how it is effective with respect to understanding and telling the story so here also if you have like you know this kind of chart so it's better to uh, highlight the one which is more important rather than highlighting all or coloring all the lines in the chart using the size attribute to tell your story so if you want to tell your sort of story so um, we can also have that is called BN. BN means like big associated numbers. So when you have big associated numbers, it will have more impact on the story. We have Aristotle uh, rhetorical uh, triangle, and in this triangle, we have three important things. One is, one is called ethos, which is uh, related to the credibility of the story. Second is called logos, which is related to the logic of the story, and third is called the pathos, which is called about the uh, about the feelings or emotions of the audience. So these things are very important to make a story successful. Second most important thing is a free tags pyramid. In this free tags pyramid, uh, like every story uh, has like introduction, it has a rising action, then we have a climax, and after climax it usually goes to the falling down, and then we reach to the conclusion. And similarly, we need to apply to our chart as well. And there is more detail and explanation for this one free tags pyramid. Uh, moreover, we have the storyboarding and in the storyboarding we have like, you know, two most important thing uh, that is called like low tech met method, which is called sticky notes, which you use it on the on the different boards uh, practically. And the second most is, is the higher tech method using for presentation, the software. So then we have like some discussion activities for you. And this is some like quiz questions for you to test your knowledge in this chapter. And this is the, this is the whole summary of the chapter that so what we learned in this chapter is uh, is about the characteristics of audience that uh, which will affect the different types of data visualization are most effective. Second most important thing we learned from this chapter is that to explain the importance of being able to empathize with the data. So empathy with data, it gives more visualization so that we can create the most effective visualization and presentation. 
And third most important thing we learn is that to use the pre-attentive attributes like color, size, highlight the particular insight from the data, adding picture. Uh, third thing, fourth thing is about we also learned that to build several new types of data visualization. Yeah, so we also learned about the new type of visualization that is called dot matrix with a shaded area and non-shaded area and the slope chart as well, which highlights the change in any data. And the second last thing we also learn about to illustrate the importance of storytelling and provide suggestion for structuring a presentation using concept like uh, rhetorical triangle and the and the freight experiment. So these, if we include these two important things, then it, our story will become more uh, interesting and more visualized. And the last but not the least is to create a storyboard using sticky notes uh, if it is manual or PowerPoint presentation software such as PowerPoint. So thank you very much and see you in the next class.